Good morning guys and welcome to a full day of eating Christmas break edition. Um, to start out, I always come upstairs, it's about 9 o'clock in the morning when I'm having breakfast. I drink a whole big glass of water and then I fill a second big glass of water and put it on the table. So I have two glasses of water with pretty much every meal throughout my day because otherwise I kind of forget to drink water. So I always have a couple glasses with my meals to help me out and I recommend that for you guys too. But then I'll have a daily multivitamin. I just started taking these about a, I don't know, a couple weeks ago. And this is a Nutrilite daily multivitamin. And it's you don't really see any short term results, but it's more of a long term process and it can't hurt, it can only help. Um, so I get these from my girlfriend Avery. She sells them through her Amway business. And if you wanna try the same ones, uh, I reach out to her. Uh, if you go to my Instagram or anywhere, you can find her pretty easily. Um, but yeah, go to her for that and let's get into the first meal, breakfast. Alright, so as you can see, I'm cooking up some eggs. I'm going to make scrambled eggs. And then I'm going to put some ground beef and spinach in them. And I'm also going to make some oatmeal. So, yeah, scrambled eggs with beef in it and oatmeal. There it is, I have oatmeal with peanut butter and berries and then scrambled eggs with spinach and uh, ground beef. And I'll have, let's go through the macros here. All right, so for the whole meal, uh, the total calories is 1,326. So, I, and then I have all the calories here listed. You can see everything will be on the screen. And that brings the macros 105 grams of carbs, 65 grams of fat, and 76 grams of protein. So this is probably my biggest meal of the day, almost every day, and it fills me up. Like sometimes I might not even be able to eat it all, but we'll see, I'll let you know if I don't. But this is a huge meal. I like to start my day with a lot of protein, get a, get a jump start, so that's why I add in the meat to the eggs. And yeah, also I wanna mention, so I salted my eggs, but Pretty much everybody, the average person, we get a ton of sodium in our diet. Anything that's processed has a lot of sodium. So like you drink a bang, that's got like a thousand milligrams of sodium. There's everything, ketchup, all the condiments, anything that's processed has a lot of sodium in it. So just be wary of that. So if you wanna like, oh geez, I shouldn't be getting so much sodium, maybe don't salt your eggs. But I do because today I'm probably not gonna have a lot of processed foods. So, yeah, that's why I salted it. Beware of the sodium because we all get a crazy amount because it's in literally everything, it seems. But anyways, this is my breakfast. I'm going to dig in now. So breakfast is done. I clean my plate, clean the bowl, I ate everything. And now I will see you at lunch. All right, lunch is served. We've got sweet potato, Tyson chicken breast, and okra. I microwaved all of these. So it's like sweet potato, you literally just poke holes in it and then wrap it in a paper towel and microwave it for like five to six minutes. Then like a few minutes for the chicken breast and then like five to six minutes for the, or actually it's probably close to 10 for the okra. But I just microwaved them all and I had some ketchup here. So 
let's go ahead and get into the specifics of the meal. So as you can see on your screen right now, I, the whole meal was 619 calories. You can see how much everything I had and what brand and whatever. And then the total macros for it were 88 grams of carbs, 9 grams of fat, and 50 grams of protein. Pretty small meal. I mean, it's pretty like full filling. This would be a great meal if you're on a cut because it's not that much calories and a big plate of food. Um, so I'll probably have another snack and then a meal and protein shake, but we'll see. That's the meal for lunch. I'll see you if I have a snack or if I am just at supper. So see you then. All right, I just want to come in here and say something about what I'm eating and why I'm eating it. So I'll start out with the breakfast. I like eggs. They taste good to me, and they're also extremely nutrient dense, and they have a good, good little source of protein and some fat. And then I add in the beef to get some more protein, and then oatmeal with the berries and peanut butter just tastes delicious. Like it's, it's almost like a treat, and it's all good for you. So that's why I pick my breakfast. I like that. I eat that every day when I'm home, basically. Um, but then for lunch, okra with lunch. I just took that because I was in the freezer. I normally just take what I can. Like I want to get a green, so a lot of times it's broccoli or spinach those are probably my main ones I use sweet potato I love sweet potatoes they taste good they're pretty nutritious and they're filling and not very high calorie um, and then chicken breasts everybody knows chicken is just a great source of protein and it tastes good and this is all convenient uh, lately I've been having a lot of like I'm using been using this chicken and making like chicken tacos at lunch so like tortilla and I throw some cheese some chopped up bell pepper and um, spinach on there so it's not like I eat this every single day if I was prepping I'd be eating the same thing a lot of the days like very meticulous about tracking and stuff but I do not track every day basically I only track if I'm trying to share it with you guys I'm pretty um like uh, uh what's I, don't, I can't think of the word what is it whatever I don't know the word can't think of it but it's where you just you just kind of gauge and you know how much you should eat like oh I shouldn't eat this um so that's how I do it especially because I'm bulking because I don't care as much but if you really want results I recommend tracking um that's the best way to like know exactly how much you're eating and then you can change it from there but I'm just focused on high protein getting enough food not going hungry <laughs> but that's kind of why what I'm eating I like to eat a green a carb and a protein from my lunch and then supper just tends whatever's mom whatever my mom's cooking or at college I just pick what I want but I'll show you what my supper is today so see you then all right supper is served I've got a sandwich on rye bread, it's like roast beef uh, sandwich. I burnt the top a little bit if you can't see, and then some leftover ribeye steak. And I'll have the totals and everything up on a second. All right, so this whole meal's calories and everything is 994 calories. Um, and then you can see everything that I had as part of the meal. And then the macros for the meal, uh, 37 grams of carbs. 59 grams of fat and 73 grams of protein. Um, this probably will not be the last time you see me eating something. I might have like an apple and peanut butter later and a protein shake. I don't know yet. So we'll just have to wait and see. But I'm going to enjoy my supper and I'll see you later. Alright, I'm back. It's like 11 uh, p.m. right now. But I'm having a banana and like a fourth of banana that was sitting there. And then a protein shake. Um, it's like 24 grams of protein, blueberry, um, BPN sups, protein powder right there, and a banana. Alright, we are at the end of the day. It's 11 o'clock. I'm done eating. Um, so the total... So the total calories for the whole day was 3,324. Uh, you can see my breakfast was 1,326 lunch 619 dinner 994 and you can see everything I ate on there if you just pause and then snacks 384 
And then we go into my nu nutrition, 280 grams of carbs, 141 grams of fat, and 235 grams of protein. That's all for today. Now, that was a pretty usual day of eating. That's the Christmas break edition. I'm bulking right now. And I usually have that breakfast every day and then everything else is pretty typical. It just varies day to day. I don't track everything every day. I eat intuitively. That was the word I was trying to find, intuitively. Um, but yeah, that was the day of eating. If you have any questions about why I eat what I ate or anything, just let me know. <laughs> or any questions at all, this is what I am eating on my bulking Christmas break diet at home. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Also subscribe, hit the bell icon if you're new so you don't miss out on any of my videos. I've got some good ones coming up, like ones that I think everybody should listen to or go watch. So stay tuned for those. I'm excited to do that. But thank you for watching and I will see you later.